Welcome to the Daytona Championship USA How-To Video Series. In this video, we'll look at how to set up a party using the brand new Party Mode feature. Party Mode allows you to set up a special personalized Daytona experience that colleagues, friends, and families can all share. From custom game settings to naming individual players, Party Mode is a great way for larger groups to enjoy a unique racing experience. To set up a party, you'll need a USB keyboard. This will need to be plugged into the computer behind the billboard screen. Once your keyboard is plugged in and you're ready to start, press the P key during an attract sequence to bring up the party mode menu on the billboard screen. Let's take a look at some of the customization and personalization available in party mode. You can use the number or arrow keys to cycle the options in the menu. When you have the option that you like highlighted, press the enter key to start entering information. Type the name of your event. Once this has been completed, press enter again to move to the next line. You can select the type of event. This will determine the graphical elements shown during the party. The minimum number of participants is always double the amount of linked cabinets in the party. For example, if you have four linked cabinets, the minimum player count would be eight. And with eight cabinets linked, you can have up to 128 players in a party. Under Named, select Yes if you wish to name each of your players. Select one of the six tracks for the event to take place on. You can even customize the duration of each race. Note that you can keep track of the estimated game time on this menu. In Type, select CPU if you wish for computer-generated cars to appear alongside the real racers in the party. With Car Select, choose Auto to lock the transmission type to Automatic Transmission. This will reduce weight and menu times, and is handy when dealing with large groups of kids who want an easier, more streamlined experience. Timeouts refers to menu timings. Reducing this time will also reduce overall game time. If you selected to name your participants, you can do so on this page. With larger groups, we advise you do this before the players arrive to reduce wait times. Once you've entered all the names, select Enter to confirm and be taken to the next page so you can set up the date and time for the party. Select Yes on Auto Start if you want the lobby to start at the specified game time automatically. Review the summary screen and press the S key to save your settings. E to edit or D to delete. If you would like to view upcoming parties, select View Party Event. Here, you'll see all your upcoming parties. Party Mode allows you to tailor the Daytona experience for players of all ages. See the Party Mode section of the manual for even more information on setting up a party. Thank you for playing. Thank you for watching. Daytona is back.